Please tell me there's a flight simulator somewhere. Wait a second. CC, I didn't expect you to be here. How's it going? I came in to use the bathroom and... I just have to win this Luna. Um, how long have you been in here? I don't know, an hour? CC, nobody's seen you for a year. Oh. Not to mention the crowds. Oh, just the thought of it is overwhelming. Yeah, I don't blame you, Fluttershy. That sounds exactly like the nightclub scene I used to work in and hated every second of. It can't just be a loud, obnoxious party all the time. And hard cut to the most obvious punchline ever. <laughs> it's worse! Whoever designed this city really missed the boat on making some fun, ponified versions of famous Vegas landmarks. This looks more like a carnival than Las Vegas. I am perfectly okay with that. The last thing I want is for this show to get any closer to actual Las Vegas than this. That statue looks an awful lot like a bona fide Elvis Presley or Johnny Bravo. So either we're jumping straight into the fat Elvis years right before he died, or we need to go find Mama and little Susie. Either way, this does not bode well. It's an honor to have you here. Yeah, it's not because of the seven or eight times you've literally saved the world. It's because you're vaguely associated with a princess now. Three for one special on Apple if he does that often, then how the heck does he make enough profit to maintain this place? Please, we're in a Vegas-style carnival. There's not a game here that isn't rigged. Hey, Beverella, that's a pretty eensy weensy teeny weeny polka dot thingy you got going there. Wanna do the monkey with me? Oh, don't make me blush. I've never seen a pink prairie dog before. Neither have I. How did they get pink? Out of all the mystical beings on this show, the pink prairie dogs is what loses you. I like the folks that come here to have a unique experience. And we love him for it. And if they're anything like the real Siegfried and Roy, this might be less of a friendship problem and more of an animal rights problem. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be fine either way. Fluttershy already took care of the animal rights problem back in the Hufffields and McColts. There is nothing more entertaining. And just like that, this situation has lost all hope of ending well. I might consider offering them to you at a substantial discount. Wait, are they allowed to do that? Just discount the ticket prices whenever they want? Furthermore, how the heck does Flam expect to sell any tickets for literally the same show at twice the price? Break up these two and all sense of logic just goes out the window. Ha! How dare I? Yes, how dare. I don't buy it. I think they're only pretending to fight so that they can send all of the customers to Flim and still make all of the profit. Well, at least they're not endorsing old lady murder this time. Well, of course that's true. For any pony but them! Element of honesty, not kindness. Yeah, I never thought I'd encourage not solving a friendship problem. But these two working together usually means a whole lot of other problems for everyone else. I'm never speaking to that pony again! And I'm morbidly curious. What are you two quarreling about anyway? It's called blending genres, and it's awesome! Would you like to know what I think would improve the show? Changing those markings on your face. And that's all I want to say about that. I said, that's all we're going to say about that. It's supposed to be a pink prairie dog pyramid! The asymmetry of that is bothering me. Agreed. Just go with the tower formation and put the two tiger pattern ones on the top. Two friendship problems? Now we're talking! Maybe you could be a little less happy about the crumbling of other ponies' relationships, AJ? That wasn't okay when Twilight did it in Lesson Zero, and it's not okay now. Gladman wants every pony to get along. Did the director put you up to this? My problem is with, with him. him! Dang it. I smell a rat. And I don't mean the prairie dogs. Jeez, Brawny. How long have you been waiting to use that gem? It just came to me. Why do you ask? Or maybe a pair of ponies? So, if we bring in all of these rabid mongooses, we'll certainly get rid of our snake problem. <sighs> That's what I get for thinking the magical abominous spawn of Johnny Bravo and Elvis Presley might be an okay guy. So the sequins and golden statues of himself didn't give it away to begin with? This fool here thinks I couldn't sell heat lamps to yaks! Of course you can't sell heat lamps to yaks. As soon as they run out of oil, they'll be dubbed not perfect and everything you own will be destroyed. That's... 
racist? Have you ever seen them act in any way that would suggest otherwise? Hey, some of my best friends are yaks. Okay. Got any other bold-faced lies you'd like to tell me? Um... Hey, look over there! A distraction! That didn't work when Countess tried it. It's not going to work now. I like to give VIP guests my personal touch. Uh, phrasing? Nothing could beat a personalized tour from the main himself. Was that a pun or just his terrible accent? Are all of you sure this is a good idea? No, because this isn't Ponyville and you're not going to fool anyone with the Clark Kent disguise. I suggest dying your mane and coat. And I sure wouldn't want you to end up on the losing side. Wow, Gladmane's going full gangster on us. Be careful, Flam. Those are some nice kneecaps you got there. Sure would be a shame something were to happen to him. If that's the case, then that's also a nice balcony that Gladmane's got. It'd be a real shame if he were to somehow telekinetically stumble over it. Doesn't think you can keep a resort of this caliber going for long. And why is that? Because you keep giving things away for free! Fluttershy! I told you to get a better disguise. You have to give at least some credit to Gladmane. This guy is one of the rare MLP villains that actually seems to know what they're doing. You just stepped in a confession. And let's take that credit away again. Congratulations, Gladmane. You were competent for a whole one minute. Seriously, how did he not notice Fluttershy holding down that button? He was looking back at them for several seconds. You can't do this! Gladmane has left the building. Now, I'm all for forgiveness. But it's still nice to see a minor antagonist get their comeuppance. And all thanks to the help of two other minor antagonists. <sighs> Gosh darn it. We invite you to use the wonder of your own imaginations to fill the space. And there's that rabid mongoose problem I was talking about. I've got the perfect solution. Release the bears with chainsaws for arms! <laughs> If you have a topic you would like to hear discussed, you can drop your suggestions by following Brawny Buck on Tumblr or sending an email to bronydebates at gmail.com. Feel free to check out my Patreon to see how you can support my channel and what you'll get in return. This video was sponsored by Irish John's Short Films and Animations as well as all of my other generous supporters. Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.